Hi all, Mass Bound Cup from Kaiser Power Electronics. Today it is Monday the 6th of April. It is now day 26 in isolation. We are nearing a good full month. And our Prime Minister stated one week ago that if the curve was yeah, being seemingly steady and not climbing too much, they would look at opening up Denmark after the Easter vacation, which is in about a week. So what they are looking into is opening up for those of the youth that are going to exams from the primary school and from the gymnasium. So that would be kids in the age from 14 to 19, as they have the strongest um, immune system and have the least likelihood to get serious infections from this virus. Uh, they are also the first that will be let back out into the society but also still with great distance keeping and high hand hygiene and such. Whereas uh, the industry and a lot of workers and us with small kids, uh, we will probably also see that the smaller kids will get back in institutions in order to free up the whole workforce and get all businesses running again. And the topic today is still a part of the whole spring cleaning of my workshop and it will be all the mounting materials, insulating materials, metal parts, bits and pieces that I thought, hey, that's a nice piece, I'll just save that for later. And it turns out that has been a lot of parts I have set that to, and it has built up as quite a mountain. So let's take a look at that. During the spring cleaning of the workshop, I have pulled out so many boxes, just chock full of stuff that I have taken out of different equipment. And I was just like, hey, this is a nice material. I can use that later. I'll just chuck it in my big box of mechanical stuff. So once I got all this out and put it into some, yeah, sorted into some boxes just to get an overview of what I have, uh, we'll take a closer look. But just uh, some spacers, all kinds of metal uh, stuff, handles, just a box of handles, a lot of wheels, some springs, some syringes, capacitor clamps. Cable clamps, a lot of screws from base stations. I have many more bins of screws that I'm never going to utilize. Um, gazing boards that I got cheap off some offer. And a box of various uh, yeah, mounting materials, insulating materials, some more stainless steel balls. So let's take a closer look. Starting out here in the right side, I first have a box of many different metallic spacers, all uh, aluminium and brass and stainless steel, some uh, plated copper as well. Very nice uh, assorted selection to use for building inverters and just spaces for mounting other hardware. Also a even bigger collection of actual insulating spacers. A lot of these are phenolic, comes from um, spaces in older inverters where the whole SCR mounting uh, type with conductive heat sinks required a lot more insulating spaces than today's modern designs. Now in this box of handles there is at most three different kinds. These two come from Siemens, not the Siemens Networks base station amplifiers and these grey ones from Huawei. So I have a lot of those after a long while of taking those apart. Now the three bags here, that's actually from uh, IKEA. So if you go into their um, like leftover department or room, they have this box of screws and different yeah, assorted mounting parts that you can find. And one day I walked by, there was a lot of handles. And I uh, was just like, hey, it's something like two euro for a bag. So yeah, I grabbed all the nice handles I could. Uh, along come also all the feet um, for different equipment along with wheels and yeah, feel feet in different sizes for equipment. Most of this came new from uh, some lots I bought up uh, of various electronics from manufacturers that went out of business. Let's move to the left. Capacitor clamps is not such a bit, big thing anymore. But um, yeah, I saved the most useful of them. When you get up in a certain capacitor size, it is a good idea to have it clamped so you do not uh, put all the weight on the bridge um, DC bus uh, itself. 
you would just risk uh, bending the terminals or stressing it too much when it seems some pretty high um, temperature transients from switching high currents. A box of brackets, mostly from IKEA, I think. This, this also came from their yeah, leftover boxes. I think some uh, commenters have mentioned before that I have the um, super overstock market for Tox screws from base station amplifiers, and I have like 10 or 20 of these uh, small bins here full of uh, M3 to M4 to M5 to M6 in both stainless and normal steel. So that's a pretty nice assortment gotten for free there. When we get over to the oh, hello, mosquito, and goodbye. Cable clamps, nice big assortment. Not something that I get to use much, because I normally use a CEE plugs that I showed in a previous video. But again, too good to throw out. From the uh, diplexer band uh, pass modules or filters and base station amplifiers, these um, metallic resonators, which are ex ex uh, actually uh, steel, just plated with copper or silver, these actually make pretty nice uh, spaces to, to use in different constructions. I actually repaired my smallest uh, dual resonant solid state Tesla coils with uh, these. Spent um, eight of them to repair some broken uh, acrylic rods after it took a hit to the floor and broke some of them. So that uh, made a pretty nice um, repair. Some um, stainless steel balls. I got these uh, at seven euro for four. Um, you can find these uh, as, as uh, gazing balls or garden mirror balls, uh, pond balls. I think the whole idea is that you buy these and you throw them in your garden pond um, and that should supposedly look good, but I'd rather use them for high voltage. And here we have some silver plated steel resonators from a, another base station amplifier and they come in a lot of different sizes so it's a nice good assortment of uh, spaces for mounting things on. So the biggest box of uh, insulating materials as I thought it was. It turns out I have thrown a lot of uh, metal parts and other parts up here but uh, mostly this should be uh, phenolic or something like CR4 material also used in uh, PCBs also printed circuit boards, all kinds of plastic metal that I thought I could reuse for another project. Now these are um, insulating phenolic plates. I think it's phenolic but I could be wrong. But at least it's some insulating material that's nice to have and came from high voltage uh, equipment. Here are some parts of uh, yeah, leftovers from a IKEA cutting board. If you need some uh, pretty cheap HDPE, you can always go to IKEA to buy these uh, cheap normal acrylic uh, pieces of plastic here that I bought from new. Now, uh, all kinds of nice pieces. You can find this in many different uh, old uh, equipment. So it's a very good source of uh, insulating materials. Plastic pipes in all kinds of various sizes. IKEA salad balls. Not so easy to put two together as it uh, seems. You will need to spot weld it um, in order to align them up pretty well and then sand it down. Uh, I never got far with that. More big nice pieces of plastic. Just different. cuttings from uh, projects I've made. Always nice to save some, uh, some smaller parts for when you need to just experiment with something and don't want to waste new good material. I can also recommend if you see thrown out LCD screens, uh, certainly do uh, get them because you can salvage these pieces of um, your different uh, shading plastic. This is used uh, to uh, diffuse the backlight uh, of the um, screen to uh, spread out evenly. 
has all kinds of uh, yeah weird properties in the in the plastic so can, can be fun to make some optical illusions with as well but uh, also makes uh, some great uh, thin plastic to use as insulation between uh, stuff and it's free along uh, those diffusing uh, pieces of plastic there is of course also a large piece of acrylic uh, six millimeter plastic just has some printing on with some white dots again to help the diffusing of the backlight but uh, I've made quite a few Tesla coils with using this as the uh, base plate material so definitely worth saving my last stash of mechanic stuff uh, that I saved a few aluminum shields from base stations there but else it's a lot of uh, acrylic these are actually shelves from a shop that was uh, shut down and they were just throwing these out. There were like hundreds of them, but I was on my bicycle, so I could only, yeah, I took 10 of those plates, but that's still a fair bit of uh, weight and quite impossible to handle on a bike. Lids from um, some base stations are some nice big square pieces of uh, metal, so definitely also worth saving. Some uh, yellow bar. Uh, this is a yellow is a uh, alloy of uh, brass. Also a whole whole plate of it here. Nice big heavy stuff. But these are something I had to pay for at uh, scrap yards. But you still only pay a scrap of value for them, so it's still cheap to get that. I would not dare to think what these would cost from new if you went out into a shop and said you needed a piece like that. Also some uh, nice uh, copper, um, thin copper here, it's uh, one millimeter. This is used for roofing, so that is a super cheap way to get some very uh, flat and wide bus bar. And it also makes some nice sounds. So uh, why play the saw when you can just find some cover? I hope you enjoyed this little uh, walkthrough of uh, mechanical mounting hardware that I found doing my workshop cleanup. So until next time, see ya!